and in some places you read today, uh, certain people at least are beginning to have some concern that you can get too many antioxidants. Uh, do you believe that's possible and, and what would... No, I, I think that's ridiculous. I will say this, mm -hmm. certain complex molecules that have an antioxidant function, you can take too much of mm -hmm. and have toxic effects. Probably the best example is vitamin E. Mm -hmm. All right, you can definitely overdose on vitamin E. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can overdose on vitamin D. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm not aware of anybody who can effectively overdose on vitamin C. If somebody drinks too much water, mm -hmm. literally drinks gallons, and this is well documented, they can dilute out the sodium in their blood, mm -hmm. have seizures, and die. Mm -hmm. Well, that means water is potentially fatal. Can be. Mm -hmm. I'm not aware of anybody taking mm -hmm. too much vitamin mm -hmm. C to have a similar effect. Mm -hmm. So I would say water is more toxic than mm -hmm. vitamin C. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, with regard to antioxidants in general, lots of people, and I suppose I'm no, no exception except that I think my feelings are fact-based and not emotional, mm -hmm. have their own little areas that they know more about and they're more focused on. Absolutely, the more of a broad spectrum of antioxidants you can take, the better. Because the antioxidants, all with what's known as the reduction oxidation, the mm -hmm. redox state, mm -hmm. more fresh antioxidants recharge the other spent antioxidants in delivering the electrons around the body. I mean, vitamin C and glutathione are definitely not the only two mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. that donate electrons. Mm -hmm. Any antioxidant does it. Mm -hmm. And different antioxidants have different biochemical and physical properties so that they penetrate certain tissue compartments better than other things. Mm -hmm. This is why silly benin and silly marin are so effective and well known for liver toxicity. Mm -hmm. So, yes, take a good balance. Mm -hmm. Take as much as your stomach can tolerate, really. Okay. At one point mm -hmm. in time, before I backed off, I took enough supplements that I sort of had a chronic indigestion mm -hmm. that I finally mm -hmm. said, well, this is kind of silly. <laughs> And I started backing off and just taking the most critical mm -hmm. ones. And probably a good way to approach this, especially if finances aren't a consideration mm -hmm. as well. I mean, we have, we have a bad economy mm -hmm. and a lot of these things are not inexpensive. And is, is it food or supplement? Is it rent or supplement? Mm -hmm. Is it sending them my kid to school or supplement? So you need a balance. Mm -hmm. But if you take the most critical ones, the C, uh, a good complex of the B vitamins, vitamin D for other reasons that we may or may not discuss. You've got a good base there. And then let's say you've got, like I outlined there, 40, 50, 60 other things other that things. are mm -hmm. all well defined as being good for you. Do it on a rotating mm -hmm. or round robin basis, you know, mm -hmm. take, take five or six of other good ones for one or two weeks and then other good ones for one or two weeks. But no, it's ridiculous to both bankrupt yourself and make your stomach upset mm -hmm. by taking 40 or 50 supplements a day. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of people that do it. It's not bad for mm -hmm. you, but it takes a lot of discipline because it will also screw up your digestion, which is something we don't mm -hmm. want to do mm -hmm. because then that, again, is rob robbing Peter to pay Paul. You're, you're taking in quality antioxidants, mm -hmm. but you're destroying your digestion in the process and ultimately producing and releasing a lot more mm -hmm. toxins. So. Mm -hmm. Use intelligence and common sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but taking the vitamin C on a regular basis, taking a liposome encapsulated form of the glutathione, mm -hmm. taking the B complex liposome encapsulated. Mm -hmm. Again, you can take all of these things non liposome encapsulated, but I guarantee you they're not going to have the clinical impact mm -hmm. of the liposome encapsulated. Mm -hmm.